this big enclosure. I figured I'd do it live just because it's a bit more interaction with you guys. I'm going to try and comment with you guys. If you've not already done so, hit that thumbs up button. If you are watching it on the pre-record, let me know how I got on. But this is a solid. We are not finishing this live stream until this is installed and tested. Um, so you can get to see how actual hard it actually is. But as it comes, the, swell, the full system comes in like that. We're basically going to be installing this in full rain system into this enclosure just here now, uh, alive. So basically you can see how hard it actually is. And then, um, yeah, just see how hard it is. From start to finish, we're going to be testing it at the end as well. So um, hit the thumbs up button and let's crack on. Everything comes in this little tub just here. We've got the locking hands on the side and little noggin thing on the top there. That's where the hose actually comes out. But what we're planning on doing with this enclosure, because it is going to be set up for a chameleon, um, so we need a spray nozzle and a drip nozzle somewhere within this enclosure. So we're thinking if we can do the spray nozzle, like, like our other enclosures, straight in the middle at the front, misting down, that would just sort of mist the, the sort of variety of plants that we've got in the bulk of the area just there. And then we might stick a drip system somewhere else. I don't know. It's sort of fly by the seat of our pants. Let's see how it goes. I can't wait. This video should be dropping on the weekend, provided I can get the editing done and dusted. And we'll, it's a case of just we'll see what happens. That's basically it. But I'm not going to rush it because it has taken so long. So I do want it to be perfect. Uh, right. That's that. I'm just sort of getting everything out of the bag, everything ready. So like I say, it all comes in this tub just here. We've got the lid that has got the hose outlet just there. We have got the, let's get it all out. The plug, the on off, the sort of just bog standard power plug. Now I'm hoping that plug is gonna be long enough because the misting system is gonna be down this side of the enclosure, but the plug has to go around the back of the enclosure up to a big outlet just up there, which I've had to install. So I'm hoping that's gonna be big enough. If not, we'll have to tackle that challenge as it comes live on this stream because we're gonna be testing this at the end. In here, there's the installation instructions. We have got three different misting nozzles. Let me show you. Up and down, there's loads of different settings and spray nozzles and whatever. You can either have it as suction cups or like I have in the other enclosure, uh, the brackets that secure it to the mesh. I think I'm going to go with the brackets on this one. So we've got loads of different fittings, a few different bulkheads we can use, uh, elbows, and where's the main bit? There. That is the um, drip nozzle. Because obviously chameleons need to drink from running water. They can't just drink from a water bowl or anything. So we've got the drip nozzle, which we will need to install within this enclosure somewhere. So we've got that down there. We have got a load of hosing and piping to actually use and try and sort of find what to do with that. We've also got, right, this is the actual main box of it. Now it comes with these bits of foam just to sort of protect all the different outlets and the knobs and stuff through transit. However, I like to use these to sit the actual whole unit on, it's just so the vibration doesn't scare anything or it just quietens it down a little bit. So I always keep them to hand, but that is everything. Inside these little, I'm gonna call them knobs, I don't know if I'll get demonetized for that, but anyway, inside these little knobs, you've got an in and an out, that's where the water goes in and the water goes out. But you've also got little like plugs inside them. And again, that's to stop anything going inside them through transit. And it has been tested because a bit of water has just come out. So the whole purpose, let's have a go. We need uh, <coughs> to sort this out, get this all unwired, because this has got to go from the water source, which will be in this bucket, all the way up to the enclosure, into the enclosure, and then from the spray nozzle over to the drip nozzle. And uh, worst case scenario, I have actually got some of this spare left over from a morning gecko build. Um, so it is what it is. I have been working so hard on this, I can't wait to show you guys, but it's looking absolutely beautiful. But we've got a big twist coming at the end of the actual build video itself, so I can't wait to show you guys that one. So, straight away, I need enough of this. Oh, I've got, I've got plenty, right. It's a, so I just basically need to cut this to a point where it's gonna go into the bottom of the bucket and up the side of the enclosure. So I'll measure it on the side of the enclosure, so I'll cut it just there. Uh, to cut it, we have a rusty knife, just because, why not? I can't find anything else to cut it with, so this is what I'm using. There we go. Boom! Nice and easy. 
Right. First things first, the that's a filter that goes basically inside the bucket. Do you know what? I'm going to read the instructions, um, kind of, just because it's it is what it is. I'm a uh, not a real man because I actually do read instructions. Quite simply because of that. Right, what's this? Uh, da -da 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 -da. How am I going to put it through into the enclosure? That's the thing because I don't want it to go in the back and come inside because then the chameleon could get to it and stuff like that and we don't want that. So I'm going to have to bring it across the top and in at this top corner or I can go in through the middle. Of, I don't know. We'll figure that out when we come to it. Um, da -da -da -da. Place the pump in a suitable flat surface, screw the nuts in, blah 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 blah. I know that bit, I know that bit. Do, 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 do. I can't, I'm bored of reading already, so let's go. I've got the end of that, and that's a filter that goes inside the water supply. So we have to, because I messed up with this part last time, put the nut over there and attempt. Oh, is there anything stuck inside there? Yes, there is. Right, there we go. So put the hose through there. Put that rubber grommet, that's the wrong way, back on there. That just stops a bit of water coming out if you ever do tip it over or anything like that. And I'm going to screw that back on the top. So it's like that. So basically your hose has gone all the way through, but you want your hose to come all the way through. Uh, which is, and that's because this hose needs to go to the bottom of the actual water source. Oh, uh, have I done that wrong? No, I haven't. Is that enough to go in the water? No, that's not enough to go in the water source. A bit more. Oh, I hope I've not cut it too short. I don't think I took this into consideration. <laughs> Now I know this is going to be a bit of a boring stream, but it is what it is. This is real time how to actually install it, so that you know yourself just how hard it is. And I class myself as quite fairly sort of that down into the bottom, and then just grab it, just grab the filter that goes on the end of the tube. Once you start it, it's got a thread on it, so you can sort of push it in just to start it, and then screw it the rest of the way, and it's a really nice snug. It. Oh, I think I've started it. Yes, and it's a pain because the hose wants to actually turn, but the nut does not. So it's just like that, basically. I'll give it another turn. There we go. And that goes inside the spray bucket, just like that. Nice and easy. You can pull it up to adjust it however you feel feel fit so that it fits inside the bucket really nicely. There we go. So that's that. And yes, we do have enough to get to the top, so I can even put a bit more inside this top. See, it's awkward because, as you can tell, the filter and the hose just wants to turn up to the lid, whereas you really ideally need that to go down to the bottom of the enclosure. So I might just stick a rock on there or something like that, just to keep it down there until it's straightened itself out over time. Right, so that will go down the back corner, all the way down there. Uh, yes, there's enough to get up to the top. So the next thing is, um, how many elbows have I got in this packet? Oh, let's get it all down on the floor. So the joy is you've got sort of like suction cup things as well, so you can attach them to the top with the other brackets and it just helps out that little bit more. So we've got one elbow. It's just a normal bog standard push fit elbow. Um, the hose just goes in there and as you pull it, it locks it in place. But I've also got the bulkhead um, elbow, which is where it can basically go through, it's where it goes through the enclosure to keep it nice and secure. 
and it's got the elbow on that end so that you can connect off it to your various different things that you're going to have in there. So let's try and work out the maths on this. How there into the enclosure, then across to the misting no nozzle in the middle, or can I get it to go in there somehow? So it's just a short piece that's inside, and then it could tee off there over to there, which will be the drip nozzle straight onto that plant or onto that log work just there. There we go. Plan is not quite 100% in place, but it's a plan. <sighs> that is what it is. Um, so where do we start? Let's have a look. We'll get the elbow on this hose just here. Uh, see, it just pushes in, pull it back up, and that's locked in place perfectly fine. Uh, where's my hose pipe? Because I'm going to need a piece of hose. Now I need to figure out where this bulkhead is going to go through the enclosure. Do I put it through here and have the tube running all the way up this side and then have it running across the inside of the front there? Or do I put the bulkhead in here and just have it curled around here? Because I can always cable tie it into place there. Uh, I don't know. It goes that way, I think, anyway. Um, or, will it go, or will it be better to go in that way? No, that way. Um, so I need a piece of pipe anyway from the back to there, so I'll cut it with my trusty, rusty knife. <laughs> I'm really trying to get this enclosure built nicely now. I've got everything in place. I've got. I've had to change all the lighting um, because it just wasn't penetrating deeply enough into the enclosure. And let's have, let's face it, everyone likes a deep penetration uh, of light, of light, and um, it works better now. So I've got the light coming right the way down instead of just up to this level, which is one of the problems I have with my morning gecko build. Um, the light just doesn't go down to the bottom of the enclosure. So we're going to get this and plug it into the side just there into the other end of the elbow that we did have so now we've got that so now in theory it should be able to go right the way up to the top of the enclosure and across the top and fall back down right this is the bit that i don't like now because i've got the bulkhead piece which is just here holes and now i've got to put another hole through it uh, which i don't like the idea of but it needs to be done and how does it need to be done is a different question altogether. Uh... <coughs> oh no, wait there. I know what I've done wrong here. So this is why you should read the instructions if I can get this nut back on. And this is a big problem that I've made as well. Let me just push that in. Back onto there. I'm going to have to fix this issue now before I go any further. Um, right, how am I going to fix this? <laughs> you wait till you hear what this problem is because it's a, the biggest amateur mistake you can possibly make. So I've got that coming up there like that. And that goes across there like that. That's not a problem. Um, I'm going to have to put Another little piece of pipe only needs to be, or will I? Basically what I've done, I've got the water coming from the box up here and into the enclosure and stuff, but I've not connected the unit that's going to pump that water through the setup, so I've got to sort of figure that one out, uh, which isn't a big deal massively, I've just got to try and figure it out. Um, I've got enough hose to actually do it. Just trying to figure out how to do it. Uh, if I can go from, because that's already connected into there, so I can go from there into there. And then if I get this, can I? Yes, right, got it. That's that, that's that. So start again. From the bucket, we've got the hose in the bucket already, which now I can actually put a bit more hose in there without a worry of 
With a bit more hose inside the bucket, I've just got a bit more leeway to actually be able to push um, and keep that hose touching the bottom. That's the sole reason. So get that all back in the bucket. So the inside, it does say in, just there. So to do that, we just take off the nut. Then as you take off the nut, that plug that I said was in there will automatically come out. So you can get that plug out. Put the nut onto the hose, push the hose into the hole as far as it'll go, tighten the nut down, actually tighten the nut down, it will just sort of clamp it on place. It's the biggest amateur mistake I think I've ever made. At least I caught it, I suppose. So that's that one. Then we do exactly the same for the outer side. Uh, ooh. Cut the hose. You do get enough cable with this and it's a good quality one as well because very thick. We all like it thick. Right. Da, da, da. <coughs> undo the pump. Or undo the out section. Get rid of the bung that was in there. Put the nut on the hose and push it in all the way. Screw it down and lock it in place. Just finger tight does perfectly fine. So there we go. So you've got from the bucket along into the in, from the in, uh, from the out, it goes up to that elbow, which will push in and pull, and then from the elbow, it will go along to the misting nozzle. So it's a case of trying to put it all in place now, right. I'm just going to put that there for now, <coughs> while I attempt this bit. So I want to be able to figure out a way of how I can attach this clip because the clip comes with a suction cup i suppose i could just glue the suction cup to the side of the enclosure this being a mesh side enclosure makes it extremely difficult to be able to do that have i got a bracket that i might be able to use uh doesn't look like it but if i can get the clip out that is There we go. So what I have got are these extra brackets that hold the actual misting nozzle. So I can clip that in there. Oh, it doesn't clip in very well, to be fair. So I can't do it like that. Or can I? Would that push in that a little bit more? Oh, oh, oh. it's got the clip that goes normally like that to the top of the enclosure with the misting nozzle attached to it, pointing down. I've just got one of the clips and just sort of clipped it in place. So now I can attach it to the upright uh, or clip the upright into place. No, I'm not. I can screw that in first. So all I'm going to do is get the self tapping screws that come with the kit, put them in the hole and screw them to that back side of the enclosure. Uh, I'm going to step on the hose. And that's one screw in. Sorry if you can see me. Ah. There's that screwed in place. So now we get the hose from the upright section. Oh God, it's all to get entangled now. And clip that in the clip. Both. Perfect. Oh, I'm quite chuffed with that, to be fair. Um, <coughs> let's get the water bucket down there. Then just there. That's up there. Right. Right, we're getting somewhere now. So we've got the hose up the top and we need to sort out one of the misting nozzles now. So to do that, we just pull the suction cups off the end of this, which is harder than it seems, which is good, because if you are just sticking this to the side of a glass enclosure, you want them to be on there nice and firm. And then, all right, how did I do this on that one over there? Um, did I do it that way round? Uh, how did I do this? Right, let's have a look. 
nuts and bolts. That's how I did it. So, right, because I did mess up with this. How did I mess up with it last time? Right, I've got to put the screws in from the bottom and the nuts and washers on the top, on the other side of the mesh. That's right. Because I messed up last time and I put them in the wrong way and I couldn't get everything sort, sort of plugged in because the bolts were in the way. I don't know. Mm. It's basically just a nice latte. Um, I need to figure out that bulkhead as well. How can I get that bulkhead through there? Right. First things first, right, I need to get this bracket in place. Oh, right, wait there. Aha. What I'm going to do is actually figure out where the centre actually is. Uh, 60, 30, oof, just there. So now I know the centre of where I need to actually put this. I need a thin screwdriver uh, out of a la toolbox. It's the worst part about when you're doing a big build like this, you keep losing your tools. Or you do when you have as much caffeine as me and you're dead skittish. Yeah, it's a real problem. Uh, so I want it to go there. So I've made a little indentation. And boom, sorted. So there's that one, so I'll put that through. Then a washer on the top and a nut, which will go back and tighten up. There we go, it's in place. Bonus, right, now for the next side. Make sure it's nice and level. There. Perfect. Same again, nut, washer and screw. Screw goes up and... Oh, missed the hole. Ah, there we go. Can't believe how far we're actually getting with this build right now. What? It's getting good. All right, screw tighten everything up so that it's in place now and trust me it's slightly not level doesn't matter there we go so that will eventually go like that might not why does that not oh yeah so eventually go in like that I want to put the cables and stuff in first. I've got to do the bulkhead next. Um, so, right, if I've got that in there, do I want the bulkhead to come through there? So it's just nice and short, but then that'll mean that cable will be coming up and over. Or do I do it there and just have it running across? But, um, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to have it in the corner. I'm going to have it running across. Worst case scenario, if the animal does interact with it, I can always cable tie it up. But then that will look stupid. So do I really want to do that? Or can I just do it there? If it's like that, and then this piece comes... Uh, ah! So with this piece, it will just go straight in there like that. But see how far it sticks up, I don't want to do that. Uh, there Let's have a look at... I think what I'm going to do... Let's go in this back corner. This is again quite a bad thing because I have quite a thick hole to actually put into that back corner now and I don't like putting holes in these. Just because I'm scared I'll mess it up and then that's, that's all this ruined then. So. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to go right in the corner. Or am I? Or, oh. Right, I need, I need some nerve calming juice. Um, 
I'm gonna do it on that enclosure. Um. Yeah, I'm going in this back corner, right. The reason that just so I'm just gently pushing this knife in and giving it a turn at the same time. What I'll do when this is in place, um, I'll actually put a load of glue around it as well, just to help secure it in place. I just want to see if it'll fit though. Yes, right. So that's that done. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> I put it in upside down, so I'm gonna have to take it out and put it back in the other way. <laughs> oh. Right, there we go. That's nice and neat. Put the securing bolt on. Lay it down nice and tight. There we go. Now for the hose. I need that to go there, that to come over here, so I need to cut it there. Add another inch just to be careful. Ow! Get the bolt, put the bolt on it, push it in the hole as far as it will go and tighten it in place. I'll make it a bit neater eventually. Now for <coughs> uh, the drip system. Right, this is where it could get a little bit technical because I've never actually installed a drip system. I've always installed the mist in systems but never the actual drip at itself. Um, so we'll see how that one goes. Again, take the bolt off, put it in the hole. Push it all the way in. There we go. So the water basically just goes along and drips out of there. So your chameleon can actually drink out of running water. Then I want this to go, but it's just gonna flop. So how am I going to do this? I'll figure that eventually. First case scenario, I need a piece of this. I might have to just heat this hose up just to straighten it out a little bit more because it's a bit of a pain in the backside. Measure out where I want it to go from the bulkhead going into the enclosure up to the actual spray nozzle. We're actually flying through this better than I expected which is quite good uh, there's a lot of adjustments to do when i do turn it on i, I would imagine it's not going to take too long till i actually do turn it on to be honest push that in all the way clip that bolt it back down i wonder if this is going to leak because i've just been doing it sort of willy-nilly sort of thing all right grab that and do that so the bolt goes on that side that goes all the way in and then screw it in place but I don't want to fasten it on too tight just yet because I want to get this clicked in place first. Boof, click. Uh, yeah, that's done and then I can tighten this one. There we go. Adjust it round so it goes round like that and sprays down. Perfectly fine. Then, the drip nozzle. How can I do the drip nozzle? Let's have a little think on this um, while trying to sort of straighten it out. Where do I want it to drip? That's the question. I don't want it to affect the lighting. But I suppose I can have it. If I do it like that, 
then it'll drip down onto this plant, which will be running down, it'll run down off this, down into the substrate layer so we could drink there. But it'll also drip down onto this plant, watering all these plants, because this misting nozzle, I'm probably going to turn to water this side of the enclosure a bit more. There we go, right, that's the plant. Uh, so cut it there. I don't know if it's going to stay up there, so I might need to actually add another bracket in up there, but we shall see. We shall see. That is the question. Uh... I'm quite chuffed I've not read the instructions and it's working. Well, we don't know if it's working until it... Oh, God, I've just jinxed it, haven't I? Right, push that all the way in. And I think I mismeasured that because that went in a lot further than I expected. But I am going to have to stick a clip in it. Now, to, can I just push that clip straight through the mesh? I suppose I could push it through the mesh and then silicon on the outside of it all. And when it cures, that'll work perfectly fine. Uh, no, I'll do it properly. I do it, uh, no, cause I, doing it properly like that just makes it look crap. Um, but if I can do it like that, on the inside of the enclosure, like that, let's clip that in place properly. There we go. If I do it like that, and then clip that in place on the end. Oh no, actually that don't look too, too bad to be fair. I'll do it like that. Yep, yeah, right, that's that bit sorted. So if I unclip the hose. That one tips up. Let's have a go. Uh, Uh, I can't see where it was, so I'll have to measure it up again. Sorry if I'm quiet on this, but this is quite a tricky bit. Uh, oh, there we go. Right. Uh, washer and a nut. Washer and... A nut. Uh, yeah, I like that. So we'll get the next bolt. Washer. And a nut. Again, we'll go through and tighten up all this just before we do a test run because I want to secure the cable, the hose over that side as well. Oops. So we have got the water comes from there into there, pumps out of there, all the way up that hose to the elbow at that back corner, along this one into this hose, the bulkhead here, which goes through the enclosure. I am going to try and secure that a bit better. Uh, along this one into the spray nozzle, out into the enclosure, along this one to the drip system, which will drip onto the both onto the log the plant the plant will drip off it will also drip into there and it will drip into the little bromeliad that's at the back just there so far that's done so it uh let's have a little think is it nearly time do you know what shall i do this bit before uh wait there will the suction cut clip work up here no, but I can silicone that in place. Yep. Right. So I genuinely think now it's time to test, which is a scary thought in itself. So I'm going to clear up a bit of space. You know, all of this is done and dusted, but I've still got a couple of misting nozzles left. So if I do figure out that I could do with a little bit more of a water over that back corner or something i can add another one into it quite simply um i've got loads of screws and loads of clips and suction cups and loads of stuff left and a bit of cape a bit of piping left as well so yeah so far so good it's coming together quite nicely i've just remembered 
I've not plugged it in yet, so I don't even know whether that cable will fit all the way around the back of the enclosure to the plug socket. So that's the next job. I'm going to clear this stuff up and um, see if the plug will reach. If the plug reaches, it's then a case of fill up with water and test it. Um, if it doesn't reach, then it's a case of trying to find a new place for that um, misting box and then fill it up with water and test it. Either way, we are coming extremely close to it. And I'm so, I'm like, hmm. I'm gonna have to figure out a better sort of scenario down there because it's just, just a sort of neater scenario. Oh, let's have a look, see if this is big enough. It, oh, it, oh, 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 I don't know. <laughs> oh, morning everybody. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up button for me. I've just seen a lot of people commenting, good morning, so I figured I'd, I better say good morning because I don't want to be rude. I'll check this pump is actually switched off. Uh, yep. And this is the tricky bit because I've got to get it from the plug there. Uh, I'll unplug my phone charger so that I can get that bottom plug just to get me sort of a bit more leverage, leverage, leverage on the plug sockets. All right, thread that behind that side of the enclosure. All the way. Oh, oh, it's looking good. Or is it? I don't know. Aha. Right. Oh, I don't know. Oh, if it is going to fit, it's going to be very, very close. Ha! I think it's fitting. I think it's fitting. And then we plug it in there. It worked. Right, so now, let's get this big snake hook out of the way because it's in the way there. Um, give me 30 seconds while I um, go and fill this full of water. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Got half filled it with water. <coughs> uh, get rid of that. Now I've got to try and get this down that back corner without spilling it. That's the challenge. I'll have to come up with a better system for that. Normally I just go around with a big jug of water and just top up all the misting systems that we do have. Uh, Plug that into there like that. That actual um, hose that's inside the bracket. The hose that's inside the bucket doesn't fit because it's sort of just pointing upwards like it was. So uh, I said I'd get a big rock and stick it on. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, <coughs> well, that's what we're going to attempt to do. I should have really planned out where I'm going to put this. And now, as with all of the misting systems and the water that I use, Repti Safe is basically a dechlorinator that just dechlorinates the water a little bit. A few little drops in there. Normally I'm a lot more accurate with that, I'm per drops and stuff, but put the lid on, lock the lid in place. Now if that's sticking down, I can't see it. I'm gonna set that onto low. There's high. Uh, my foam padding that goes underneath the uh, pump itself. I've just thought I'm going to have to make a much better scenario down there for all this sort of stuff because one, I can now not, no longer get into these cupboards, and two, I've got a misting a fog system to fit down there as well. We'll play, but. 
Right, so just to double check now, um, I'll spin that just like that so it goes in the enclosure rather than out the enclosure because I still haven't got the door on this enclosure just yet. Bucket's full of water, pump's there, out the pump, up there, along here, into there. In theory, in theory, it's ready to just press the button and test. It might take a few seconds for it to actually come through all the piping and out and everywhere and set up really nicely. Um, but we'll see what happens. I've got the pump set on its lowest setting because you've got a dial. Shall we go? Three, two. Here we go. Let it purge all the air out. And turn it up. While it's on, the drip system is not working, so I'll adjust that. It's just there, you can't see. So let's turn it off now because it's a bit noisy. That sounds amazing with it dripping off the plants. Just dripping out, drip, drip, drip. And that did a good enough job of spraying everywhere, including the back. The drip system worked fine. It'll be interesting to see if the drip system will actually stay like a drip system or whether it's going to take in air and it's going to have to purge every time. If that's the case, I don't want to damage the pump, so I might have to remove that. But so far, that is the rain system actually installed on this big enclosure. I'm well chuffed. Let's, uh, let's show you guys the enclosure. Uh, da, 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 45 minutes to undo it. Perfect. So we have got down the bottom layers. We have still got some bits to add in the substrate layers, but it's a deep substrate layer, really deep. We've got a big pothos cutting just there. That's come out of Mooshu's enclosure because it was getting a bit wild in there. And I wanted somewhere under the plant grow light where it would actually work. We've got foliage down there, another plant down there, one over the back there, one there, and a weeping dew plant just there. Coming up the enclosure, obviously the background is solidly built the whole way around. We've got various aspects where we've put a bit of um, substrate in the mix in various places. Um, we have got a vine running the length just there quite nicely, attached really cool. Uh, foliage plants all the way behind that big bromeliad just there. Behind that bromeliad, we've got a baby bromeliad just up there. Further up, we've got this bromeliad, but it's got a pop coming out, so we're going to have a baby bromeliad off that. And we've also got a baby bromeliad just behind there. Another one over the back corner just there, with more plants over the very back corner just there. Over this side, this is just one big giant planter, that whole corner, because we've got this big weeping dew plant just here. And obviously it goes all the way through everywhere, but it's also got some greenery foliage sort of plants. I'm hoping this plant here is actually going to grow over time and grow over the planter and potentially over all the logs down there. Further up, uh, obviously we've got the weeping dew behind the back of there. Further up, we've got more weeping dew and foliage over that back corner. Again, I'm hoping that weeping dew will go across that actual branch just there and the foliage to cover part of the background just there. That bromeliad up there with the foliage behind. Now that foliage has grown massively over just the last three days. Now I think that's because in the video I put a New Dawn LED strip light in just sort of there. And it just wasn't firing enough light down to the bottom of the enclosure. So we've changed it for those two lights just there. And it seems to be working really, really well, quite nicely. We've now got the misting system in. And while I'm going to go off camera shortly, just over there, we've got a fog system, which I've got to put into the enclosure as well. I am absolutely chuffed to bits with the fact that I've not even adjusted the misting system, but it has sprayed absolutely everywhere really, really nicely, except for that plant at the back corner. So I might just have to do a slight little uh, twist adjustment. There we go. So that'll be able to fire over there as well. So that's that, guys. I can't wait. to. It's nearly 25 minutes long. So when you do see that video, 
just make sure you uh if or if you can if you have the time watch it from start to finish and no skipping no, no nothing like that if you want to rewind a little bit and go through that's even better just give it as much watch time per viewer as possible hit the thumbs button on that video and leave a comment um because yeah that's how, that's what makes it a good video to youtube by seeing all this enrichment but so far it's really, really looking good. I forgot. I've got another bromelia down there. I didn't even know that one was there just then. But yeah. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. Oh, thanks for all the super chats. Candy Ray, you're an absolute star. Absolute star. So what we've got in the big living room now... Uh, I'll show you. I shall show you. On Hugo's enclosure. Hugo! Hugo! What's up, mate? What's up? You're not coming to say hello? You're just looking at me like, yeah, um, yeah, whatever. Your name, Candy, will be going down the bottom of this enclosure, just here, where we do have, like, all the Super Chat names. Your name is already up here, too. There you go. Boof. And that's for the channel members. So if anybody is a channel member, your name goes up there, and the Super Chat names go down there. Oh, Hugo's coming to say hi. You coming to say hi? Say hi to Candy Ray. Say hi. Are you Jake the Tegu? Hello. How are you doing, matey? How are you doing? There you go, mate. Jake the Tegu. Ha! See that, mate? Did you see that? Where's popcorn? Oh. He's just sat there loving life in the middle of the enclosure going, yeah, whatever. Do -do 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 Boof. So that is that enclosure becoming really really close to completion now i genuinely think the last thing i need to do on this enclosure oh reptile innovations thank you i'll get your name on that enclosure um as soon as we're finished on this live stream now i really appreciate it it's it's, it's i can't describe the feeling every time i do get us it's just thank you thank you very very much it's humbling i'm really trying to push the youtube as a a career because i really enjoy it thank you that's all i can say is just thank you but the, so i can't i can't even talk i'm, just, I'm choked up <laughs> and all we've got to do now i mean there you go there's the side of the enclosure just to add for the fog that will be going into this enclosure um I don't know how I'm going to do it. I, I was tempted to do it where it comes in over there, all the way over there, and in over there as well. So I've got like two pieces coming down. Yeah, that, that'd be quite nice. <laughs> oh, all right, guys, that's, that's me done for this live stream anyway. I've just come on to solely do that. I've actually got to go and um, film part, the actual build video itself. I've got to go and film the part where I've just sort of installed the... Uh, misting system and then um, I'm going to do the mist uh, <laughs> I'm still choked up <laughs> I've got to go and film out film the bit for the build video where I've just filmed the rain system and then I've got to install the misting system as well and then I think this enclosure is done oh well I've got to put the door back on it but the door's just sat over there at the moment oh here's a little tricky for you check it out Ah, we've got more baby morning gecko eggs how cool is that? We've got some in that cup and some in that top corner as well, which I'm really lucky. Oh God, I'm knocking everything over. I'm really lucky because they didn't adhere to both the door and the side panel. If they did, then well, oh, I wouldn't have been able to open the door, quite frankly. Oh, hello, Sparrow. Hello, Sparrow. <laughs> right, guys, I'm procrastinating. I need to crack on with some work. So thank you, everybody, for tuning into this live stream. I really appreciate all the super chats, the channel members, the thumbs up, the views, absolutely everything. You're all absolutely amazing. I can't thank you all enough. Thank you and peace out.